The element hydrogen, by far the most abundant in the universe, is very high in energy, but an engine that burns pure hydrogen produces almost no pollution. This is why NASA's powered its space shuttles and parts of the International Space Station with the stuff for years. The only reason we're not powering the entire world with hydrogen is because it only exists on our planet in combination with other elements like oxygen. You know, good old H2O. Russia even converted a passenger jet to run on hydrogen in the late 80s, and Boeing recently tested small planes that fly on hydrogen. Once the hydrogen is separated, it can be pumped into mobile fuel cells in vehicles that are able to directly convert it into electricity. These cars are now being manufactured on a fairly large scale. Honda is planning on demonstrating the versatility of its new hydrogen fuel cell car by plugging it into a model home in Japan to power the house instead of the car sucking electricity from the building like its electric-powered competitors have to do. Honda says one of these fully-fueled cars could power an entire house for a whole week, or drive 300 miles without refueling. The main obstacle right now is the relatively high cost of these vehicles and the lack of hydrogen stations to refuel them. Although California now has plans for 70 of these stations across the state, South Korea is expected to have a total of 43 soon, and Germany is aiming for 100 by 2017.